Proposify tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Proposify and how you can use this software to create your own proposals to send to other companies. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So this is the website over here, as you can see, proposify.com. And it's very, very simple. And the sign up process is very easy. It's a free demo. You can get a free demo uh, 14 day trial. And it's really easy just simply click on sign up for free wait a couple of seconds and over here you can just enter in your first name your last name the name of your company the email the password your number and then just simply click on create my account and once you've done that you can just go ahead and sign in start using this software so i'm gonna go ahead and sign in and i'll catch you guys in a little bit and once you have you know signed up they will give you this option so this is an optional information you can you know go ahead and skip it if you want to or you can go ahead and answer these questions so that you they they have a better understanding of where you live and who you are and what you do so that they can give, provide you with a better proposal template or whatever so it's completely up to you but what best describes your role you can enter in your role so i'm going to go ahead and say marketing and how many employees are at your company well, let's just say one to ten and which country do you live just enter in the country and just simply click on get started and once you've done that this is how it's going to look like you're going to be welcomed over here to the dashboard over here these are some of the uh, things that you can do to get started so over here you can watch the video if you want to it's just a one minute video then you can update your branding check your profile information add your team members add clients build your templates and send your first proposal everything is very simple and very easy so let's go ahead and do that so over here on the left side we have a bunch of different options so we have pipeline we have content library templates metrics users clients integrations and settings so what we need to do now is first we need to update our branding like you know update our logos and stuff like that so let's go ahead and click on update logo and over here you can add Add in some of the things about your company such as their address the country where it's located the city the url the website url and subdomain and all of the things that they are asking for and once you've done that you can get started so let me just go ahead and uh, update my logo over here we'll just go with this one wait a couple of seconds for the logo to be uploaded okay so the image is a little bit bigger than expected so what if we use this one okay Okay, so as you can see, we've uploaded our logo. You can add in all of the other information. Once you've done that, just simply click on save and there you go. So next thing what we can do is we can add our team members. All right. So let's go ahead and click on add team members. And over here, we can just enter in their first name, their last name and their email address. And we can enter in the role that they have and we can invite the users. So once we've done that, so let me just go ahead and invite myself. There we go. Once we have done that, we can go ahead and go back and we are done. OK, so now we have our users. We've updated our you know logo of the company. The next thing that we can do is we can go ahead and add a client. Let's go ahead and add a client. So to add a client, as you can see, we already have an example company over here. We can see we have these uh, people added over here and we can go ahead and add a proposal. But to add a client, you just simply click on new client. And over here, just simply click on add new company or add new contact. Click on add new company. And over here, you can add in the name of the company, their, their address, the city, the country, the province and all of that. The website URL and then just simply click on save. So let me just go ahead and add that. We're going to add this one over here. We're just going to say street number one, USA, city, New York and country. We'll just say United States and New York. And once that's done, just simply click on save. And we have done. Now we have this company over here. Now let's go ahead and add the contact. Then we can add in the contact over here. John, we'll just add the name John, John Marshton. Then we can add in the title CEO. We can add in a, a, their email address, their office number and their mobile number and simply click on save. Guess we do have to enter in an email address. And once we've done that, just simply click on save. And there we go. Click on done. And now we have our a contact ready as well. We've added our contact. Now, the next thing that we can do is we can build our first template that we will be using as a example to set up our document exactly how we like it so that we can send our proposal. So let's go ahead and click on build a template. Use my starter template. And over here, we can use the logo. OK, everything looks good. Let's go on with the template. Wait a couple of seconds for it to load up. Okay, so over here, this is a proposal. This is like a template, as you can see this is a starter template and this is the proposal over here on the left side we have all our uh, things that we've added so we have a cover 
we have the introduction, the overview, the services, the investments, agreements, the uh, template tips and tricks, and the optional services that we can offer. So as you can see, it's really simple. It's really easy to create. Uh, over here at the top, we added a logo. We added this, you know, shade of black over here. And, and then down below, we have our proposal name. And then over here, we have our contact names and their contact last name date submitted this is basically how it looks like and then down below we have the introductions where we hear at the company name our customers are a number one priority and then we have the business details we've added in a small promotional you know promotional video which you can just simply drag and drop over here as you can see on uh, from the from the right side we have our text we have our meet images we have our videos we have our shapes i have our lines the uh, tables the the uh, price tables and the signatures as well and then down below as you can see we have added the signature over here the company ceo and uh, down, down below we've added a did you know like a small little quiz type thingy and then over here we have the page number as well so and this is the overview of the uh, entire you know proposal the entire proposal so basically like you know giving a small brief his overview of the entire proposal so that if they want to go over there and then down below the cert we have our services you can change everything you want everything and it's really easy to create and over here we have our you know investments so we need this is like an investment over here and we can change it as well so it's really simple it's really easy to create and then we have let's work together the agreement we have the signature proposal over here for the proposal lead and then the default signature and then the user assign user title company and client first name last name are all going to be over here and then this is the uh, optional services that uh, is by the uh, you know proposifies you know optional services over here and it's really good so you can create a really solid proposition uh using propify it's really amazing and all these images you can find over here like if i wanted to add an image over here i can just come click on the image and i can find all these images that are you know over here in the image library they have unsplashed photos as well so we can search them over here and we can or if we can you know uh, drag and drop our own images if we want to add them same goes with the videos just simply drag and drop the page and create a video over here as well so if we wanted to add a video over here for this one right let me just delete that so if I wanted to add a video over here, right, all I had to do was paste the videos link over here in this box, or we can select the video from their library as well, and we can change the width and height of the video as well. So it's pretty simple. It's really easy. So let me just show you how it's basically done. So I go over to YouTube. I can just copy any video I want, right? So let's just say that let's copy this one. Just copy the uh, link, go back over here and paste it over here. And there we go. Boom that's done now whenever someone you know comes over here this video will be played the link that we uh added over here so let me just lock it so that it doesn't move or anything else so that's done once that's done we just have to simply click on generate proposal wait a couple of seconds for the proposal to be generated and there we go we have now successfully started a uh, proposal and then what we can do next is we can select the company that we want to send the proposal to select the company select the contact that we added and once we've done that change the assignee over here and then click on next step and we are going to be sending this proposal over to the company that or to the contact that we added and there we go just take a look at all the proposal and see if everything is order in order once it is just simply click on share and there we go the proposal is going to be sent this is the email how it looks like the proposal is going to be over here this is basically how the email is going to look like if you send it you can change it over here as well like you can change the name the email uh, the company name the text of the email itself take a look at our proposal and let me know if you don't have any questions and then we have a thank you email as well and a reminder email as well so you can ch turn this off or turn this on however you feel like it so if our reminder e email is turned off right now let me just turn that on default reminder email yep and once everything looks good we can go ahead and click on send to client yes submit 
and send the verification email okay so it looks like i haven't verified my account so i have to go ahead and verify it then i can send the email so let me just go ahead and verify my account real quick so as you can see i've sent the email as a as a test and it works so that's how you basically use it let me just go back and check the uh board the list and as you can see we've done everything except for this one the profile information where we just have to add the all of the profile information and how to do that and once we've done that everything looks good so that's how you basically you know use uh proposify and then over here we have our content library as well where we can find all the uh templates and stuff like that so that we have created or that we can create and then over here in the down below we have templates where we can find all the templates for each of the proposals that we can use then we have metrics as well so these are going to be all of the uh, proposal metrics that we've seen we have viewed over here the one the loss like over here we can see everything so it all depends upon you and how you use it so but generally that's how you use proposify so if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and uh, having said that if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care goodbye